Now to a lawsuit that's in the works over the stay-at-home orders in our area. This lawsuit is specifically about the restrictions against religious gatherings. Channel 2's Joel Eisenbaum is joining us live in Northwest Harris County tonight where one church already challenging those restrictions. Joel? Christine, I'll tell you what, all sorts of interesting legal issues are popping up as a result of these stay-at-home orders. For example, in Harris County, it would appear that you can go to Walmart, but you cannot attend a church service in church, and some people want that to change. It's great to see faces. At Glorious Way Church in the Champions Forest area of Northwest Harris County, they had church service on Sunday. The head count of spaced congregants totaled 99 parishioners. And perhaps defiantly, they plan to do it again on Easter. That's even though it seems to be in violation of Judge Lena Hidalgo's stay-at-home order. This would be the first time in our history, in our history as a country, where the government would come in and say, on the most holy of holy days, the day that we celebrate the resurrection of Christ, that you can't meet as a corporate body. Pastor John Greiner, who founded this church 25 years ago, is with a handful of other churches in the Houston area, taking a stand, a legal stand. They're suing to stop the county from limiting their ability to physically get together inside their churches for worship. After looking at other essential businesses and how they uh, handled the crowds, the, for instance, grocery stores and others, uh, we, we saw no reason why we weren't essential. And it looked to me like a terrible precedent that was being established by a great power in the hands of a very few people to make these determinations. And it was unclear to me just how they made the determination. Okay, so we don't have specific comment from Judge Hidalgo on the lawsuit, but the order really is not that cut and dry banning church services. Here's a section of it per the Texas Attorney General's guidance on this topic. If religious services cannot be conducted from home or through remote services, then religious services may be conducted in churches, etc. Such services should be conducted consistent with the guidelines from the president and the CDC. So there is some gray area there, but these pastors who are part of this lawsuit want it to be black and white, and they want to be able to hold their church services. We're live in Northwest Harris County tonight. I'm Joel Eisenbaum, KPRC Channel 2 News.